Hi, this is Jay Stephanie with Levinson and Stephanie here in Chicago. Today, we're going to take a look at how we use FileVine to uh, keep track of court information. You can see we're right here in our court info section. We always like to keep track of whether or not a case is in federal court or state court. This is a nice thing to you know, keep track of for any reason that you might think is important. But also, I have it set up as a smart one. So state court, you know, typically we just have our judge assigned. But for those of us who practice in federal court, you probably know, oftentimes you get assigned a magistrate. So I'll just pull that over here. We keep case number, courtroom, and then in here, these are all smart limited fields for the different uh, contacts that it'll pull up. For example, in court, it just pulls up any contact that has this court designation in here. And then similarly, for a judge, it's only going to pull up options where the contact is a judge. And you can obviously uncheck that just in case something didn't get that tag. But also, if I create a new contact, it automatically knows hey, since I'm creating it here, it is going to be a judge that puts that in there. This next part down here, these sort of text fields are all going to be used for various document generation options. For example, case caption. So we all know, you know, when we're doing our case caption, you know, sort of standard one, you've got your two lines at the top, you know, what court you're in, state court, federal court, whatever, it has all that information. And then within the caption itself, obviously it has the case number, but it'll have the plaintiff or plaintiffs as well as the defendant or defendants. So the doc gen that I've set up puts it in the exact format I want, font, style, everything, but pulls in exactly how we have it here. And because I created it with the smart field here or the merge field, for the client's name, the file name will always have that in there. So it'll just pull it up here. Boom, it has all the information, it has these top two lines in bold, how we like it. It puts it in a table. Obviously, you can always go in to Word and edit it. So obviously, something here, you know, we make sure it's a defendant's plural, add the extra uh, parentheses. But it sets it up very nicely so that you can use this and copy and paste it in other places. Or you could create other doc gens for here that you could do for other things, so notice of filing or notice of motion. Next, we have case name, say four letters. So this is something exactly how you put it, for example, in an RE line. So we have uh, in another section, we have doc gen for various letters that would go to opposing counsel. And as we know, sort of the RE line would have the case name as well as case number. So it pulls from here and here to be able to fill that in. Just another sort of shortcut. And one of the things I always say is, you know, enter the information once, use it a hundred different ways. This is just one of those examples. The next thing we have down here are key dates, next court date. So obviously this is going to change every time you go to court and then get your next date. But this is also a field that we pull up into our vitals so that at a glance, you can always take a look and see when your next court date is. I mean, it's something if you're at a bigger firm, you know, we are sort of an intentionally small firm, uh, lawyer and staff wise, but it's a nice thing that you could run a report easily off of your next court dates and just see what you have coming up in terms of calendaring for your team. Trial date, this is again, just something to put in here once you get assigned a trial date. You can have it in there. And again, if you wanted to run a report pulling only projects that have a trial date, what that trial date is, again, it's another nice thing to just sort of see what's coming down the pipeline in terms of what's coming up for trial. I'm always a big believer every section should have a notes field. There's just always little things that you're going to want to add in here, you know, little tips for the particular judge you're in or the magistrate you're in front of, or, you know, courtroom or directions or something along those lines. 
It's just nice to have a place to put it where everyone can see it and where it makes sense. And last, we have a multiple document attachment section here for our orders. A couple different things. One, I have it set up so that anytime you add your order here, it automatically puts it into the orders folder in the docs tab, as well as attaches a hashtag order to that document. So again, even though they're going to be in the docs tab, it's nice to see it here because it makes sense to be here. We know this is where it's at. But if someone wasn't looking here and they were just in the docs tab, it's automatically in an organized folder with a searchable hashtag. So that's how we use uh, this court info section within Filevine. We're going to keep things organized, get things set up for doc gen, try and make things easy to find and then easy to use. As always, I am always happy to chat and discuss Filevine, how we use it, how you use it. Uh, maybe there's ways that we can improve and make it better and make it easier for all of us in our practices. So that's all I have for this one. Let's chat.